Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I am very excited to share today's video with you because it's really all about mood boosting, confidence boosting, feeling your best, feeling happy, all the things that we need right now. I'm also super pumped because this is a collaboration with my friend Stephen Ford. I have been wanting to do a video like this for a while. I know that there was something kind of running around the YouTube space about like, the products that make me feel most confident, but I kind of wanted to take that a step further into, you know, life practices, like different rituals, all the different things that we have in our life that make us feel our best. Whether it's, you know, boosting your mood, feeling confident, which I feel like feeling confident boosts your mood, you know, how that's like kind of hand in hand. And I thought that Steven was the perfect person to ask to do this. Steven has been on YouTube for a short while now. We met through Rupi Minhas and I just quickly have like formed this connection with him. He is such a sweet soul, a kind, caring person, and someone who I know is, you know, on the journey of doing the best for ourselves, which I really think we all are, but I know Steven is very much working at that in life, and I thought that he would be great to share his tips and tricks, and I am actually very excited to watch his video. So right after this, make sure that you head over and watch his video as well, because I'll be doing the same. So I will make sure to have all of his information linked in the description box. Check him out on Instagram. He has a wonderful Instagram account. And please make sure to subscribe to him here on YouTube because I know that you will really love him. If you like nice people, if you like funny people, and since Steven has just started his journey into having more of a makeup collection, wearing makeup more, I think if you are someone that is in that arena yourself, it would be super helpful. You could follow him along on his path and you know see what he has to share with you. Now, if we haven't met before, my name is Kelly and I am a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable, and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to hit subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. So let's start off with the first one. This is the Coconut Skin Smoothie Priming Moisturizer. For me, hydrated, glowy skin always makes me feel confident. Like it is just, it's just become such a part of my life to have a really nice moisturized base. And I think, you know, skincare in general is something that has really helped me. I have to say, I feel like my routine has been slipping a little bit just because of time, but I do really enjoy taking the time to take care of my skin. But on those days that I need to like rush through it a little bit, this is a nice one because this is actually a moisturizer and a primer in one. I find that First Aid Beauty has great ingredients. I've never had an issue with this. It just looks so glowy. And all of the products that I will be talking about today, I am actually wearing today so that you guys can kind of like get a feel for this. So for me, just having this product that is like that glowy, beautiful, like luminous look, it it isn't like super sheeny. You guys know that I've really been enjoying my Auric Glow Lust, but this is, this is nowhere near that. This is just that little bit of like boost. <laughs> it doesn't look like I have a highlighter on. It doesn't look like I have a glowy product. It just looks like I've had some water. I was in the sauna. I'm doing good. <laughs> like, and I, I really like that. So that always makes me feel very happy. All right. Another thing that I want to talk about boosting my mood is Jeremy. <laughs> like just getting to spend time with him, connecting with him. Um, if you guys don't know, Jeremy is my fiance. We have been together for a little over three and a half years now. And honestly, he is just, he is to me the person that centers me, the person that calms me down. <laughs> when I'm in my sort of like chaotic brain, I'm a little bit panicked because things aren't going perfectly. He like always likes brings me back down. And you know what? He's just truly my best friend. We have a lot of fun together. We have a lot of laughs. And I know that he's always there by my side. So just getting to spend time with him, whether it's because, you know, we're just enjoying each other's presence or whether I just... I just need that support from him. I know that he's always there. So I'm very lucky to have a partner in my life. I um, I like to call him my love's bin. That's sort of a term that we had come up with, you know, before we got engaged, he, he was just my love's bin and now he will be my husband someday. So I'm very blessed to have him in my life and he is definitely uh, a, big, a big part of me being happy and confident. <laughs> okay, moving along. Like I was saying before, that like glowy, healthy skin is definitely something that makes me feel good. And I've definitely been transitioning in life as far as like what I want on my skin. So I would say I've never been like a super heavy, full coverage person, but I would say that, you know, when I was a little bit younger, I would wear more like medium coverage. And then in the past five years, 
yeah, I would say five to seven years, I really got more into like lightweight coverage, tinted moisturizers. And then this year with, you know, wearing masks and all of those things, in my everyday life, heading to the salon, having to wear a mask for 10 or so hours, I don't really put anything on. I maybe throw on some concealer, I do my eye makeup, because I'm all about the eye makeup, but I don't really put anything on my skin other than my skincare. And sometimes this guy, because I do really like a little bit of a glow. But I will say that just that, just seeing my skin, just more every day seeing myself and probably you know as I get a little bit older I'm 39 I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable in my skin like literally and figuratively so I think that just seeing myself more it's it's made me feel okay with that so oftentimes I just like to throw on a little bit of concealer and this product has definitely been my favorite this year this is the Omo Woke Concealer. I use the shade uh, Fair Lady T3. This is almost all that I have on my face as far as like skin today. I did throw on a little bit of the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Stick, literally just right here and blended it out. And so since I right now, thank you masks, I have a little bit of like pigmentation from breakouts and a couple active breakouts. Just wanted something with a little bit more, but out here, I don't actually have anything on my face. like no tinted moisturizer. I don't have that like tinted moisturizer stick. <laughs> I don't have anything. So I just really use this concealer like under the eye, down the nose, and again over my few breakouts. And I just, I just feel good. Anytime I'm wearing too much makeup, I don't, I don't feel great anymore. I just, ugh, I don't like the feel. I don't love the look. I would rather see some of my pigmentation, some of my acne scars from when I was younger. I would rather see that than just feel overly covered. And so this, product has come in clutch. I think that it's like a medium coverage. It honestly, it doesn't get super creasy. I've had days where I've either forgotten to set it or for whatever reason haven't set it. It still does okay. I do usually set it a little bit. I've used it as a lightweight eye primer. It just, it just gets the job done. Uh, I will say I am that person that's always on the hunt for like the holy grail of concealers, but for right now, this one's at the top. Another thing that helps me boost my mood is meditation. And Honestly, I feel like a big part of that is in the last few years, I think I've just had like an increased anxiety. I've never thought of myself as someone who had anxiety and I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily say that, but I definitely have those times. And I think that my brain is just running all of the time. And especially at night when I go to sleep or I'm attempting to go to sleep, that is when it's at its worst. Like I will lay down and I will start thinking about the stupidest things that I don't even need to be focusing on right then. So Jeremy and I have a practice of turning on a sleep meditation every single night. Um, I use Insight Timer, by the way, uh, if you guys are interested in checking that out, I will link that down in the description box as well. So that is the one we use. It is free. You do have an upgraded version as well, but I found some great meditations on there. If you want some ideas, if you use Insight Timer and you want to know a couple of the ones that I enjoy, let me know. Message me on Instagram and I could certainly like screenshot them and send them to you guys. So that is definitely something that has helped me because it gives me something <laughs> to focus on other than the crap that's running through my brain. I also have times where, you know, I'm just feeling a little bit of overwhelm and I just need to like calm down. So I'll do like a shorter meditation and we're talking like five minutes, maybe 10 minutes, and just something that can like help me feel recentered. So that's definitely something that I find that truly does help me. Um, I, I can get to sleep a little bit faster and you know, just like <sighs> calm down a little bit. And nothing makes you feel better than a full restful night's sleep, right? So that is definitely something that has helped me a lot. So for my third beauty product, if you will, it's sort of a generalization, but I do have one product that I'm gonna mention to you. I love a good cream color product, like blushes, highlights, bronzers. I, I love something that's creamy because it just sits on the skin and looks more natural. Some of my faves right now are the Salt New York Cream Tint Pros. So this is the little quad that I have, first of all. This is gorgeous. These cases that they have are beautiful, but these are individually priced pans that you can create your own palette. So I have two blushes, I have one of the highlighters and the bronzer. So I think it's like sculpt, radiant, and then like lip and cheek or something like that. But basically you're looking at a lip and cheek stain, a highlighter, and a bronzer. So that is 
what I have on my face today. I did mix the two blush shades in together and I have the bronzer on and then also that highlight. So that's all that I have on my face along with the woke concealer and like I said, a little bit of that complexion rescue stick right down the middle. So these I think are so wonderful because they really have a beautiful thin texture. I have done a full video on these. I will make sure to link that above so that you guys can check that out. I don't want to spend too much time on this one, but I definitely could see myself getting more of these. I do want to get the slightly darker bronze shade and more of the blushes just because they are so beautiful. I feel very confident. It doesn't add any texture to my skin. It just looks super luminous. I think anyone, as long as you're not like very oily, I think anyone can enjoy this. I am normal to dry, definitely more dry in the winter time, which is of course where we are now. It's February and it's like mm, 10 degrees out today, something like that. So it's chilly, it's cold, it's dry. I don't like it. And this makes me feel luminous and glowy and I feel like I am on vacation even though I'm not, unfortunately. All right, so the next thing in my life that is a mood booster for me, and this one is sort of like a double-edged sword, but I put down coffee or tea. And Jeremy and I were kind of talking about this because I wanted to ask him like what he thought, you know, get like an outside view on what do you think that I use to like boost my mood or feel more confident? And um, he was like, yeah, he's like, I could see that, but I, I don't even think it's like the beverage itself. It's more the ritual. It's like, you know, sometimes when like life is going crazy, it's just nice to have those things in our day that we know we can count on, that we know we're going to do, even if like everything else is chaos. And I was like, yeah, that's, that's really true. So for me, I love coffee and honestly, there's this, you know, it's kind of well known that most hairdressers are like addicted to coffee. We all run on caffeine and it's very true. Um, I have definitely had times in my life that I've realized I have a caffeine addiction and I've had to like cut that out. So I've gone 30, 60 days without any caffeine. Um, I do find that I do like to do that from now and again because it's just like anything else where all of a sudden I feel like, oh my God, I've had like four coffees today. So I try to um, have decaf, <laughs> uh, I would say like half the time. So right now, honestly, I'm, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I am very over caffeinated in my life and I need to cut that out. So I've been trying at night to switch to more herbal teas just to really be able to enjoy that like warm, cozy beverage. Now, I would say as far as coffee goes, I probably prefer iced coffee for most of the year, but there's just something about getting up and having that warm cup of coffee, like even in the middle of summer, I just enjoy that. So I do have other beverages that I've been able to replace. And for me, I really have to be careful because caffeine is A, it's a stimulant, you know, so obviously that can have issues with sleep, but also it can increase levels of cortisol, which is a stress hormone, right? So it's a balance. It's finding that balance of like enjoying the coffee, without having too much caffeine. And really, truly, I think I could like have decaf coffee forever if it tasted as good, but there's just something about it that it just doesn't always do that. So I sort of just said like, it's a really good thing and a really bad thing, but just like most things, it's all about balance. And <sighs> that's what this is all about. It's trying to balance out life, right? So I do think that that ritual of, you know, stopping at my favorite coffee shop, grabbing that cup of coffee or that really yummy tea or making a beverage at home for myself in the morning. It's just it's just what makes me happy. And it truly is. Part of it is just the ritual of it all. And also, in a world where we are more social, I think it's sort of like the social aspect of it. It's being around people. It's grabbing that cup of coffee with a friend, doing those things that is also a big part of it. Um, I'm not really a big alcohol drinker. Like, I will on occasion have a cocktail or a glass of wine or something like that. But, you know, so for me, I'm usually like gathering with friends over coffee. Um, I can't wait. I cannot wait to get back to that world. So maybe that's part of it too. But anyway, coffee and tea is on my list. Number four on my beauty list is mascara. Any mascara. Like, I think I just said this recently. I would rather take bad mascara than no mascara. Uh, I do, of course, have some favorites. Right now, I do really still love the Bite Upswing. I did do a full review on this, which I will link above for you guys. You also know that one of my ride or dies is the Telescopic Carbon Black. I am trying to use up all these tubes and I'm on the hunt to try to find something that is uh, cruelty-free. So uh, I'm gonna be sad when this one is gone. Well, when all of my backups are gone. I think I do actually still have two tubes of it, but I just, I need that in my life. Like if I could only have one product for the rest of my life, it would probably be mascara because I just feel like 
you know, a curled lash with some mascara on it, it just makes you look more awake, which makes me feel more awake. It's just sort of that like fake it till you make it sometimes. And I think that well-defined lashes are just, are just beautiful. Now I would say like, maybe I would just have to learn to like somehow make mascara work in my brows too, because I do love a well-defined brow as well. But uh, if I had to pick, it would just be mascara. So I do love mascara. Like long, luscious, fluffy lashes are just something that makes me feel very confident and happy. All right, another thing in my life that brings me happiness and confidence is yoga. And I'm saying this now because I have gotten out of the practice and I miss it so much. So when things in the world were starting to shut down, you know, we obviously weren't able to go to our gym where we would do our yoga classes and then Honestly, right now, we just we just don't feel comfortable in that situation, so we canceled our gym membership. And of course, we were like, oh, we'll totally do it at home. And we just, we just haven't. We have not carved out that time. That's totally on us. Jeremy and I would go to yoga twice a week. And I miss it. I, I not only miss, like, again, sort of like when talking about meditation, it sort of takes you out of the, the past, the future, the what's happening in five hours, like all of that. You just like kind of get into the now, you get into yourself and you're just in that space. So the mental like calm and the mental centering that's there is really helpful, but also just physically, we both have very physical jobs and we both have very repetitively physical jobs. Like as a hairdresser, I spend most of my time with my arms up, whether it's like cutting hair, coloring hair, round brushing, whatever, and my like neck and shoulders, just ugh. And so I find that doing things that like open me up, make me feel really good, increase my flexibility, it just feels wonderful. And we both found that our, I guess quality of life was much better when we were doing more yoga because we just, felt more flexible and we both are realizing like, you know, I am almost close to 40. Jeremy is a little bit over 40 and it's like, yeah, we still want to be running around on this planet for a long time. We want to be able to go hiking in, you know, Fiji and like go dive off a boat in Bora Bora or, you know, like go visit some of my new YouTube friends in New Zealand. So, you know, it's like, I want to be able to do some of that and travel and still be a healthy bodied person. And so, so a lot of that is flexibility and so it it just it just makes me feel good knowing that I'm taking care of myself moving my body so I'm saying this right now because I'm gonna watch this and you guys are gonna watch this and I'm gonna be held accountable and we're gonna get back into it so yoga is definitely something that we love and enjoy and it, it really does boost my mood the last beauty item, sort of, sorry, Steven, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. Uh, it's kind of your fault, but the last beauty item I wanna talk about is just a hydrated, juicy, plump looking lip. And the product that gives me that every single time is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the shade Fussy. Now, I don't think I've met a fussy shade that I didn't like, but this is definitely my favorite. I feel like it's actually worn off as I've been yammering on. So let me just reapply this. So I have, very lined lips um so you know like the whole like matte trend is not for me i like something that has a bit of reflective quality to it this i mean everybody on the planet has seen this shade but i'm gonna swatch it for you guys anyway so this is that like neutral pink it's not like barbie pink it just has enough like wearable tone to it it's nice and sheer i do have it on with the lip liner today just to give me a little bit more definition but i always love this i feel like it could go with any makeup look I'm wearing, I can just whack it on in the car without looking in the mirror. Like it's just my go-to. I think that, you know, having like a nice full lip is, is really aesthetically pleasing and having lips that feel a little bit more conditioned makes me feel happy. It just, it just always makes me feel confident. I think it always looks pretty. It wears really nicely. I don't get that like ring of death that everybody hates and I love it. I am just going to like slide this one in here uh, because Steven sort of mentioned it, um, I might be like giving away one of his things. Sorry about that. But when we were talking about like, what are we going to pick? And he was talking about fragrance and I was like, oh my God, yes. Like fragrance is such a big thing. Like scent memory is so big. Like having those scents that remind you of a time in your life. Like I have things where it's like, oh yeah, I wore this on, you know, this date with Jeremy or, oh, I took this one on vacation. That is such a huge thing. Um, I didn't pull out one in particular because I just, 
I just don't think I can. What I would maybe recommend is, especially for this time of year, I did do a favorite fall and winter fragrances video, so I will link that one up above as well if you guys wanna check that one out. I do plan on doing a spring and summer fragrance video. Um, fragrance is just something that I've really gotten into in the last few years, and it just, it just, changes your mood. Whether you're looking to feel more happy, more awake, whether you want to feel kind of like sexy, it, it can really happen through scent. And so that is something that I really enjoy. So thank you, Stephen, for reminding me of that one. But I'm just sliding this in here and I don't actually have one to recommend um, because I love so many of them. But if you do want to know my fall and winter fragrances, you can check that video out. All right, for my last mood booster, there were a lot, there were so many things. Like I could probably do like a list of 10 of these on their own without any beauty products. But I would have to say that music is definitely something that enhances my mood. Whether I'm down and I just wanna be like perked up and I want to feel happier, whether I'm sad and I honestly, I just wanna like feel related to, you know, kind of go through that. Whether it's like, I'm just wanting to feel more sassy. I think that there's so much music out there that does that for me. Now, I love to sing. Uh, I'm kind of like always singing. I am that person in the car. If I'm not listening to YouTube videos, I am blasting my music, singing at the top of my lungs. I'm that crazy person. Um, I just love singing. I have really enjoyed in the past being in musical theater. So I love listening to a lot of different soundtracks and like living that story too. So I feel like, you know, between great storytelling and regular songs, I love, you know, like I said, listening to musical theater. It's just, it, it's so immersive and there are just those songs out there that can just really, really make you feel good. And it isn't even necessarily that it has to be a happy song. It's just something that, you know, maybe you feel like, yeah, there are people in the world that go through the same things that I do. Um, I do love a good happy song though, but you know, sometimes you just, you just need that to know that like, yeah, I'm not alone out here, right? So, so that's it. I guess off the top of my head, I wanted to maybe just share a couple songs with you. Um, one of my like all time favorite, like mood enhancing songs is Just Dance from Jamiroquai. Like if you guys haven't heard that, it's honestly like you can't get through that and just not be happy. So I do really love that one. Um, I also have to say that like one of my yeah, it's a mood booster, is um, This Is Me from the Greatest Showman soundtrack. And first of all, I just think everybody, like I love that soundtrack in general, but that song is just so powerful. And I usually feel like when there is a collective, when there is a chorus of people singing, it just is so powerful because they're a unit. You know, it's like a, it's a collective. It's like a group of people sending a strong message. So that is always super powerful to me. So. Again, I will make sure to link those down below. Uh, so if you guys wanna check those songs out, you can. So I've had a lot of fun with this, you guys. I, I can't wait to see what Steven is going to say. I'm really interested in checking out that video. So please go give him a follow. Uh, Steven, thank you so much for doing this with me. You are such a gem and I am so glad that this YouTube space with all of its ups and downs, the hard work, <laughs> all of that, you know, it's come with meeting some incredible people. And you are definitely one of those people. Thanks again for doing this collab with me. Now, if you guys have come over from Steven's channel, I hope you'll consider joining me here. Subscribe if you enjoyed this, if you'd like to see some future content. I really do appreciate all of you taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what some of your mood boosters are, whether it is a product or something you do in your life to help, you know, make yourself feel happy, make yourself feel confident, just, you know, get through the day and do a little self care. So that is it for today, lovelies. I really do hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time, I'll see you really soon. In my everyday, day to day, my everyday day to day. But the last beauty item, blah, blah, like this is just that little bit of